Hey there, Capricorn. Hope you guys this week has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what we messages we get for today and what we're talking about right now for our highest good, guys. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Capricorn. Tell you about Capricorn, please. Tell you about Capricorn, please. Closure. Moving on. Trapped. Hopeful at the bottom here. So clearly you give yourself some kind of closure in a situation and you're moving on. And this is like a trapped energy. I'm going to have to dig in that a little bit more and see what that's about here. But this is also, this hopeful card is about you remaining hopeful no matter what is going on in your life. Always keep that faith, guys. Keep it pushing. Things happen for you, not to you. So what's overall energy for Capricorn, please? Fear. What do I say about that fear card? Punch it, kick it whatever kick it hard punch it fear is an illusion get rid of it this is about you testing your faith are you going to give up on your dreams or are you going to continue pursuing what you want here guys so and this is me taking my own advice so somebody's got this fear like this person's ultimate fear about you moving on like this person never thought that you were going to leave their life like this person's really stuck in a fear mindset when it comes to you and a lot of you guys had to get out of this this fear mindset about changes and things and just move forward with your life and this is about making closure and it's not only love related for somebody here there's something about closing out cycles that are just not for you anymore and just not letting any fearful thoughts get into your mindset and just keep it pushing and continue to move forward when we let go of things of the past we make room for new guys and then the guilt and this is about us releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in our soul's growth guys so leaving that in the past somebody is going to try to come back and, and try to guilt trip you and some of you guys this person or people have already been trying to pull you back and guilt trip you this is about not letting that happen anymore you could have had somebody try to plant fear in your mind and tell you that you can't do that. Or if it's love related, you're not going to find anybody that loves you like I do. Don't listen to that bull crap, man. They're only telling you that because they know your worth and they know that you're a catch. And they don't want you to move on and find better. So that's why they want to plant doubt in your head. Even with career related, there's something about career related I'm picking up on this read too. Don't let anybody hold you back from being your best self and moving forward. You can do anything that you want. You you will put yourself in a in a in a lack if you keep yourself stuck in a box. Don't do that. Let me get one for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Current state is safe. Mm -hmm. You could be feeling like you're in an isolation period at this time, or you went through one. We go through one more than one isolation period. I know. I feel like I've been going through another one myself at this time too. So. This is about you celebrating every, every baby step forward. No matter what is thrown in your path, you keep climbing up them steps until you reach that goal, whatever that is for you here. And this is about trusting the downloads and the messages that you receive at this time here. So it's, it's, it's safe where you're at. So we're not going to let anybody pull us back into this nonsense that you were dealing with here. The current state is safe. Let go of your inner thoughts. Exactly. So just... That's that fear mindset that I was picking up on, guys. Not letting, don't tell yourself these these negative things, and don't listen to anybody else trying to plant these negative things into your mindset. Let go of the inner thoughts, and then if you are having that negative uh, thoughts, redirect them to positive affirmations. Um, look around and, and focus on what you have right now. Like, if you you really gotta sit and look at things, like you don't realize how many people would try to change lives with you like you gotta just really gotta move around your your perspective and just no more feeling sorry for yourself and not letting anybody try to come and pull you back in and making you feel sorry for them either don't don't stay where it's your time frame is expired and you're meant to evolve don't don't hold yourself back let me get one for capricorn please sacred space this is about you taking time to clear yourself you guys could need to create a sacred space or you have a space there. You're being advised to 
Um, meditate more, ground yourself more, and just really just sit and be in the stillness energy here. And if you have some kind of deities or something here that you, um, you, you, your ancestors, your angels, your God, whatever you, whatever you believe in, they would like to have a sacred space there. And if you already do have one, there's something about doing like a, a cleansing and just really sitting at that space that you created and just really clearing out your mindset, just really getting in touch with your mind, body, and spirit here, guys. And then faith, absolutely. By remaining faithful, no matter what is happening, things always turn around in my favor. And I know that's right. Exactly right. So no matter what is going on around you, always keep the faith. Things are happening for you, not to you. And everything always turns around in your favor. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Tell you about closure. So some of you guys didn't get closure from somebody here. Some of you guys, you know, you give yourself the closure when people don't want to have the final talk or they do that ghosting is so such a thing these days. So that's why we're not going to let anybody leave us stuck with any unanswered questions. We're, we're going to give ourselves the closure and we're going to move forward. Tell me about a uh, closure. Somebody here didn't expect for you to do this. Tell me about this. Yeah, somebody burdened. You've been dropping these burdens and not staying energetically connected to somebody that doesn't want to, um, doesn't want to, you know, communicate things out with you. Someone that tries to use silence and things to try to keep you stuck. So this is about you laying these burdens down and walking away from situations that a person or people may have thought that they had you deeply rooted in the ground. Like you weren't leaving, like you were that, that loyal soldier that wasn't going anywhere and now you're going somewhere that's good so it's like somebody wants to try to come back here and make you feel bad because you finally put down the the burdens and moved away and there's something about you not taking on other people's burdens you may have um been somebody that likes to see you know everybody win which i'm like that too everybody there is enough enough prosperity and just abundance in this universe for everybody to succeed that's why I don't understand why people get jealous and try to compete. Like, we all can win. I want to see everybody win. So, just walking away from anything that's not serving you anymore, guys. And not overextending yourself and not staying where you're not welcome anymore. And definitely not staying somewhere where you're not being appreciated. Go, go, you know, you, like I was saying earlier, if you get rid of these old groups and things friendship groups, love, even family dynamics, you, you leave that in the past, you, you open up for new people to come in. You can't be holding on to past things and expect for new things to start headed your way here. So somebody never gave you closure because they chose someone else. This is someone that went towards another lover and now they're like feeling butt hurt because they see you're moving forward now. They couldn't stop you. They never gave you closure. And this is where somebody wanted to try to fill your head with illusions and trying to confuse you. You could have been really like in this mindset of like, what's wrong with me? Why did this happen? But this is where all this magic took place for you as well. This is where you started reflecting and just really looking at your life and like, just, I want better. I deserve better. I want to be better. So I am going to move away from these situations that try to keep me stuck with not giving me any closure or clarity. So good. And then you've got somebody here that was waiting on your downfall. Look at this. An envious person. Sevens are significant. Your luck's about to change. You could be seeing seven. Someone could have been born in 77, life past seven. The sevens are significant here, but this person thought that you were going to, they purposely left you sitting here, dissecting everything apart, thinking that they were going to just keep you stuck in this, this illusion with nothing but fear and self-doubt. That's what this person wanted for you. And they waited for you to fall off that wall. And some of you guys did fall off that wall. But you got back up and you climbed back up that wall. And now you're dancing along that line. And now this person's envious. Knowing that they they might have knocked you down for a minute. But you got back up. And you're much wiser and stronger next time around. Is what this person's not realizing. But this is an envious person. Look at this. Now you're up here loving yourself. Working on your heart chakra. Pulling in all that prosperity here. Just really really in touch with yourself beautiful energy here this is about you loving and pouring back into yourself and moving forward you got a blindfold on so you 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 might not know where you're headed 
But this is just about trusting the process, leading by faith, and not letting anything try to pull you back into these unclosed uh, cycles anymore. Giving yourself the closure and moving forward, leading by faith. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Tell you about moving on for Capricorn. So you're moving on. Moving on after finding out about somebody else being here. Some of you guys could be moving on to a, another connection, a soul connection here, the lovers. Some of you guys are moving away from a connection here that you thought was going to end in marriage. Some of you guys could have been married to this person. Tell me more about moving on. Tell me more about moving on. Five of Cups. So somebody here is like sad and crying and just not happy because you're moving on. And a lot of you guys had to go through a lot of tears and just sadness, pain, that you moved through this. And this is why you're you're letting it go and moving forward now. It's like somebody like tries to come back and try to guilt trip you and try to make you feel sad because it's like this person comes back right when they feel like you're you're moving. Like it's like so it's like this person just is like in the, is in the background just watching, waiting. It's like a waiting game with this person. The sun, I'm telling you, there's something here about this person. When they realize that you're moving moving on, then they want to try to come in here and try to, you know, cat around trying to come towards you here. This is someone that acts single even if they're in a relationship. So this person could still be connected to someone else and trying to come towards you at this time. This person knows that you... Um, you're seeing things for what it is at this time and just you're getting your 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 optimism back. You're you're just you're optimistic now and you're just really wanting your happiness. And if you've got to break free from anything that is keeping you from getting to your ultimate happiness, you're gonna break free from it. And this is about this independent energy that you're in right now. Whether you're in a connection, you could be going towards a new connection. Um but even if you are in a romantic connection, you're still independent. You know how to stand on your own. You don't have to have somebody to, like, make decisions and things for you. Like, you know how to stand on your own two feet here. But this somebody that was catting around, running around in the street, doing the most, is trying to figure out how to come back here and slow you down. I'm telling you, this person likes to come back here and make you feel bad because you're moving forward. See the, the face on this? This is somebody here that knows that you're over this. This person was able to do things to keep you stuck before, but now you're getting this this um, more fa fast movement now because you're balancing out your shadow, your light side, your masculine, your feminine side. You're just forward movement. You're moving on. And now you've got this person. I'm telling you, look at this. And then now you've got this player energy trying to come back in here and try to prevent you from moving forward. But there's still somebody else here. I keep getting that this person is still connected to someone and they're trying to come back here for you because you're moving forward. So this is someone that likes to wear masks and they flip-flop partners here. So they left you down in this corner and they thought you was going to stay down in that corner and now they're looking back and you're taking inspired action and you're moving. Now they want to try to come back in here and stop you from moving forward. Keep keep moving forward, guys. Tell you about trapped. This person likes to trap people. Even if they're not with them, they like to trap them. Like, it's like a collector energy that I'm picking up on. Four swords. So this person is like, the, the more that you pull back and you do your healing work, the more that this person tries to come back in here and try to figure out a way to try to keep you stuck from moving forward. You're out of your feelings now. There's something here about you being more aware about your emotions here and just really just not not falling into this this cycle that this person or, any, or a, more than one person for you that you're just not going through this anymore. And somebody is trapped in a third party situation here. So this person could be stuck with somebody right now and they are so focused on you moving forward and just winning. Like they are still trying to come figure out a way to try to get you back, but there's still someone else here. This person sees you celebrating yourself. Like some of you guys could have a new person too, because there's definitely third party energy here. So so that could be, you know, vice versa here. But you're definitely celebrating yourself, minding your business. And this person knows that you're no longer, um, you're no longer giving that loving, nurturing side of yourself anymore. You are being more logical at this time. And there's something about a scorned lover that I keep getting for somebody here. Somebody is definitely dealing with somebody else that they're not happy with. 
and this person knows that they cannot trap you anymore because you've done your your healing work here so there's a couple different things i keep picking up on this one somebody didn't realize how strong and resilient that you are like you you get put through the ringer but you get back up and you keep fighting for what you want and this person's trying to figure out how to to offer love to you again this person's trying to figure out how to trap you this, I'm telling you, this person's seeing something about your life. This person knows that you're really moving away from them. And they're trying to figure out how to come back in here and trap you. But I keep getting somebody's not fully single. Somebody is trying to come back in here and try to stop you from moving forward. But they're still dealing with somebody else. And then I, somebody could be with a new person too. I'm getting several different messages about your guys' read today. Tell me more about hopeful. Tell me more about hopeful. Four of Cups in reverse. So you got over the this person not um, making you a priority anymore. You, you, you lost hope. This person is no longer able to come in here and toy with you anymore. You're just, you're, you're moving forward. You want better for yourself. Tell me more about hopeful. Seven of Swords. I'm telling you, this person's strategizing. This is somebody that's so pissed off that you are not playing into their games anymore. This person is really trying to figure out a way to how to, to come back in here and try to get you to still have hope for this situation here. This is a very envious person that you dealt with or more than one person for someone that you dealt with. See, this is because you pour back into yourself now. You love yourself. This is about knowing your worth. This is about not accepting breadcrumbs anymore and moving forward. Leading by faith. Not letting anybody put you in denial anymore because that's what this past person liked to do or for you or for somebody more than one person liked to do. Somebody wants to try to come back and try to offer something here still. It's like a stability trying to offer loyalty, but you're not going for it. Something here about your victory. Something about your finances I keep getting too. There's something here about you remaining hopeful. Whatever you're trying to do for yourself, it's going to work out, guys. So don't lose faith. This is about having this success and victory will be yours. It's like blood, sweat, and tears to get to where you're at at this time. And make sure you're you're celebrating every move that you've been making with your progress, guys. Okay? And this is about trusting your intuition. Just knowing that there's something good coming in. And there is, guys. And this is about keeping your, your um, silence. And no longer keeping hope with anybody that wants to try to to be deceptive and just be secretive and just try to keep these lies and things going on behind your back. This is about being done with that. It's a wrap. It's over. I've got fire, water. I've got Gemini, water, air, water, air, water, and air here. So there's something here about not feeling, um, there's something about not feeling secure and this connection or more than one connection I keep getting, like just not feeling grounded. So this is why we're moving away and being done with the situation or more than one situation for somebody here. So keeping hope on what you want for yourself, never losing hope and faith with yourself and, and just moving forward because you can't trust this person. So this is about not being around anybody that you can't trust because you're always going to be doubting yourself and just overthinking things. And that's going to get in the way of what you're trying to create with your life here. That's that inner, those let go of the inner thoughts set card that came out here. So if you can't trust somebody, this is moving away from that. There's something here about somebody and their secrets. Somebody's got a lot of secrets and this is something about you moving in silence and not announcing what's going on in your life at this time as well, guys. Move in silence. Remain secret. Somebody's stuck in some habits. Somebody here is still stuck in some low vibing energy. They could be drinking, smoking, sex addictions, whatever that may be. This person's stuck. You guys could have had some of these habits, but again, you've moved away from them. And now somebody wants to try to come back and guilt trip you. This is about not letting this guilt keep you stuck, guys. Moving forward, making the right choices for yourself. Capricorn. Something about a home is significant. You could be moving, relocating, purchasing a house, or have done that. Somebody may need a place to stay. Some of you guys may have had to, like, especially if you live with somebody, you had to break away from a, a contract involving a house here. 
Somebody could show up to your house or send something to your house as well. Tell me more, Capricorn. Trust issues. Again, you can't trust it. This is about moving forward and not letting anything hold you back. Some of you guys may have had to see a therapist or still could be. There's new love here. And this is why we need to make room for new things to come in. Because if we don't, if we hang on to the past, again, there's no going to be no room for nothing new to come in. So this is a new love headed your way. This person's very intelligent. They know how to communicate. They're creative. They're smart. They're generous. They're sociable. This is somebody that will ha you'll have deep conversations with. Tell me more. And somebody here is not doing good. Like the past energy is somebody that's running out, running around in the streets doing the most. This person could have some legal issues here. You guys could get some kind of call from this person trying to, you know, pull you back in and make you feel bad for what they've got going on in their life here. But this person's got some kind of a uh, record. Some of you guys could have had some kind of uh, record getting in trouble. I know I have. It is what it is, man. It's my past, so it doesn't define who I am today. But, yeah, somebody's got some legal issues here. They're not doing good. Tell me more. Catfish energy. Somebody that likes to romance. Money scammers. Somebody could have gotten in trouble because of some kind of money scam. But this is about not falling for these, these mask squares anymore. Tell me more. What's that businessman energy? This is about taking your time too. Something about taking your time with your investments and something about if your investments aren't materializing as fast as you want them to, trust the process, guys. Everything is happening for a reason, okay? You've got a businessman, businesswoman energy headed your way. Somebody that's slow to commit. This is a boss energy. Somebody that knows how to take care of you. They're only attracted to one person, but this is about just moving slowly into these new connections that are lining up for you here. Beautiful. And something about for someone here, some kind of a career path for somebody. Just make sure that you're reading the fine line and just make sure that you're just not rushing into situations. Make sure that you're really, like I just said, reading the fine lines. A lot of you guys had to start over. Something about somebody else had to start over with the clothes on their back for somebody here. But this is about just, just ready to go down these new paths and not let anybody hold you back anymore. Somebody's got some drama when it comes to kids. So that could be what somebody got locked up with child support issues. But you could have children with this person trying to come back for you. Children or no children, do not let that keep you stuck. The, that's it's It's worse for kids to see two parents fighting and you'll bleed that on to the kids and then your kids are going to go through that same cycle. That's why it's called curse breaking, guys, because we're going to stop it with us so our kids are safe from it. But somebody's having some drama when it comes to kids. Somebody's not helping out financially. Somebody's not co-parenting well. There could be some kind of custody battles. Now somebody's trying to get access to you. There's new energies trying to get access to you. And this is because you've been in this period of wanting somebody that, that knows your worth and you're not settling for anything less and that's beautiful you've got somebody really coming towards you in very generous energy it's that new love trying to come towards you very generous and very soon you've got this new person headed towards you okay all right that's why we're not gonna let this past person get in the way of this new energy trying to head your way guys capricorn Living in the moment, mm -hmm. not focusing on the past, not focusing on the future, just being right here, right now, and just really loving life. Just being at flow with the universe, not trying to resist or force things. Beautiful energy. Tell me more. Absolutely. Something here about your gifts. Keeping the faith, healing, meditating, praying, just keeping it moving with this faith. Absolutely. Focusing on this self-love. The more that you love yourself, the more that you attract this high vibe lover towards you. So it, it's worth it, guys. So continue to self-love. That's why this past person wants to try to come back and tell you they miss you. Because this person knows that you're getting ready to like be catapulted into your highest timeline here. And something here about your gifts. Somebody didn't want you to have these gifts. Somebody doesn't want you to trust yourself. So don't feed into that bullcrap. Make sure you're trusting yourself and the messages that you receive here, guys. Tell me more. Ooh, this is somebody very stubborn. 
very selfish person that was stubborn, arrogant, prideful, ego-driven. Somebody that is my way or the highway. So this is a type of energy that you were dealing with that would give you the silent treatment if you didn't uh, give in to what they said or wanted you to do. So we took the highway. We're not dealing with this selfish energy anymore. We're over it. And now somebody's losing sleep, replaying events in their head. Because this person knows that they lost control over you. Tell me more. Tell me more. Somebody's trying to figure out what you're doing. This is a GPS. This is someone that likes to keep a close eye on you. Let me tell you about people when you're in a relationship with them. If you got somebody trying to keep a close leash on you and they are constantly accusing you of flirting and cheating, it's because they're doing it. So they've got a guilty mindset. So they try to keep a close rein on you because they're the ones stepping out doing the cheating. So this person's trying to track you down. Trying to figure out what you're doing, who you're talking to, who you're with. And there's that romance in the air. You've got romance headed your way, guys. And it's like old school love, man. I love this. And this is about you after you discovering and awakening to who you are. Seeing things for what it is. Heart chakra back open. And then you've got somebody from the past trying to figure out how to come in here and try to make it seem like they've awakened to who you are to them, trying to tell you that they love you now and they, they want marriage, they want you, but it's too late. This is someone that is it's too late. The time is up, it's over, and your time's up. You gave the past too many times to get them smacked right, and it's over with. Man, I, I put both of these cards in. I didn't know which decks I wanted to use, so I put them both together. I'm not going to shuffle them or separate them. So let's see what we get. It's a bigger than what I thought Capricorn addiction. So no longer staying codependent on anybody trying to keep you stuck in restraint. Somebody has got like some kind of possession with you. Somebody tried to control you, but this person's got some kind of emotional block. Some of you guys had some kind of emotional blocks with addictions and that's okay. We move forward. We acknowledge it and we move forward. That's part of our growth guys. Tell me more Capricorn. Tell me more Capricorn. It's a big old pile. We'll go with it. The runner. So somebody wanted to run from you. They didn't. They, that's what this, this person that never gave you closure. They ran from you. This is someone that if things you started catching on to what they were doing. And the truth was being exposed. They, they run from you. And then they play the victim. They go cry wolf to someone else. And now that you're running and you're gaining momentum, now they're freaking out. So this is about you just being lighthearted and adapting to anything that you find out. Because you are a truth seeker. So the truth, you manifest the truth. And this is about not letting that truth, when you find it out, make or break you. Just being lighthearted about it and being like, okay, this is happening for a reason. Now I'm going to move forward. Something here about a, a higher commitment coming in here for you with this new love too, guys. And you got a past person trying to come back in here and convince you that they want this with you again. But this past person... They didn't feel like they were enough, so they wanted you to feel like you weren't enough. And there's something here about you still reprogramming your mindset and telling yourself, um, you know, working on your confidence and not self-sabotaging yourself as you're going into new connections and as you're going towards new goals and things for yourself. Don't listen to what past people were saying about you. It's how they feel about themselves. They they saw the light and the worth in you, and they wanted to dim your light because of that. So don't listen to people and what they try to project onto you. This past person does still, they feel like they're not enough, and they're still trying to come towards you. They wanted you to feel like you weren't enough. That's, try to, that's how they try to keep you stuck in this vicious cycle, guys. Tell me more. You're irreplaceable. And you're about to be meeting your energetic match here. And this other person's going to be broken. They're figuring out who you are to them. Like you, your absence is felt when you leave connections. And you're really going to have this beautiful relationship coming in. And this past person that tried to break you, they're the ones that are just going to be feeling stuck and broken. So they may have uh, broken you down, but it only built you back up this is like every stone that was thrown at you you've been over there building a force field a mansion a, a castle whatever you're building for yourself like this person doesn't realize how strong you are tell me more and then that love that unconditional love is coming in because you love yourself 
So you're attracting that high vibe lover towards you guys. That's beautiful. I love that for you. Exactly. Because you're making healthy choices for yourself. The self-love is drawing in your, your soulmate. Being happier. And I'm telling you, your past person is just going to have to sit here and just feel heartbroken. There's something about this person having a, an anger issue. So this past person is still trying to figure out a way to try to charm their way back into your life. Don't let them back. This is someone that doesn't like that you uh, put some strong boundaries up. So this person doesn't like that they can't lower them. They, they want to try to force their way back in. I'm telling you, there's something here about you meeting something new. Some of you guys could be, I keep getting some kind of like meetings for, for work for somebody here too. So this is about you meeting up with these new energies headed towards you, whether that's love or career and just really just savoring these beautiful times that you're having here, just feeling uplifted. Some of you guys could just be around friend groups right now, just, but you're about to meet your match guys. If they're not here already, yeah, you're going back out on these dates, getting back out there, putting yourself back out there and just really, just really loving yourself. And this is this paradise that you've got coming in for you. Happiness, joy, playfulness. That's what you've got coming for you guys. I beautiful. I love it. You're, you're stepping into your paradise because you're, you're closing out anything that's not meant for your highest good. That's good. It's like purging out of all the old to make room for all these new beautiful things. You get one for Capricorn. Capricorn. If you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, wander, and be totally unproductive and you can actually relish such interludes, I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, and productivity will increase exponentially. So this is about just getting in touch with that inner child and giving yourself that permission to not be so hard on yourself with these goals and what you're trying to do with your life. Just, just being at flow and just enjoying life and just having that faith, guys. I know that you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you're good enough or strong enough to do that which your heart desire to do. This message is here to remind you that you are more than capable of doing it. Rise up and take that leap of faith. So again, don't question yourself, guys. You guys are more than capable of having the life that you want for yourself. So that's why it's time to like cut out anything that's not for your highest good and not, not look back. Keep moving forward and not letting this past anything from the past keep you trapped anymore guys all right my beautiful capricorn that was your guys's message i hope that it helped and resonated if it did not please check back with me on sunday we'll do it all over again guys appreciate you guys so much light and love to you guys i'll see you guys later